Hi Cubies, here's your Alexandra and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today we will be painting a bone colored space marine armor like the Deathwing. Uh, I will paint my own chapter here. These are the bone wardens and uh, well if you are interested in uh, those smokestacks here for your uh, inceptors or your uh, bullet casings here or muzzle flashes, then head on over to Deadly Print Studio. I made recently a video about that and, uh, well, get yourself fixed. <laughs> well, uh, but now to the painting tutorial. This will be the end result. And today we will be painting this Space Marine Sergeant here. So, um, what you can see here is I have uh, primed him in white previously, and then I have uh, covered him with a, a Citadel Contrast Paint a Skeleton Horde. I let that dry, and as you can see here, uh, we have a, a nice bony color already, and uh, all the recesses have uh, nice um, brown shadows. That is exactly uh, what we want. Here in the end result you can see the brown shadows here in the recesses. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> So that will uh, save us the pin washing. And for our main color here we will use uh, from the uh, Army Painter War Paints Skeleton Bone. Um, you could also use uh, the old GW uh, uh, Bleached Bone for that um, or another uh, off-white color. You could uh, also supplement this for a uh, uh, Rockard Flash, from, for example, from Games Workshop. Um, or you make a 50-50 mix out of uh, Rockard Flash and uh, Wraithbone. That will uh, almost give you that. So, um, we want a darker uh, bone color for that. Not too bright, because uh, we want to have uh, better damage on the miniature. And uh, to highlight those we need white and uh, well for that to work we need a darker color than white to actually be able to see that. So we'll take a little bit uh, of that on our wet palette, <coughs> add a little bit of water to give it a better flow <coughs> and then we take our brush and then carefully we will uh, paint all the panel lines with a nice even coat of the bone color. So as you can see uh, it is not 100% covering here but that's not a big deal. We uh, just wait until this uh, panel is dry and we will go over it a second time. <coughs> In the meantime you just pick another panel and carefully paint it up, leave the recesses obviously in the brown. So, <coughs> now I can pick again this panel here and et voila, it is now covered. See? <coughs> so, painting this marine in a solid coat is no rocket science, just use a nice brush with a pointy tip and give him a nice base coat. So uh, I will base coat now the entire miniature and be right back for you. Okay, dokie tubies, here we are now with uh, the clean and even paint job of the bone color. And at this stage, um, he's almost complete for a battle-ready standard. So uh, just paint the metal parts uh, silver, uh, the bolter casing, and here the chainsaw casing uh, in a different color than uh, all the other details in silver. And uh, give it a wash over the silver parts with black wash. And the miniature is basically battle-ready. So. Uh, if you want uh, just a plain paint job, this is uh, the stage. So now uh, for the uh, more advanced stages, uh, you have basically three options. Um, 
option number one, you go the uh, Games Workshop route and uh, you uh, now edge highlight the entire armor uh, with white. So uh, every single edge and uh, corner you uh, edge highlight. This is a very tedious process and uh, it takes a long time and you need a, a very steady hand and a very, a very nice pointy brush for that. Um, if you don't have that, I would not recommend that. Uh, route number two would be to uh, highlight now each and every uh, panel here, for example. Uh, let's say here you want to highlight uh, the knee part. Then you uh, add a little bit of white to your uh, bone color. And then you uh, paint uh, in a crescent moon uh, shape here the upper part and leave uh, the lower part uh, in a darker color here, in the bone color. Then you add more white and uh, make here uh, a tiny sphere and then maybe uh, pure white and you make uh, like a dot and then you have uh, the knee highlighted. So there are uh, tutorials out there to show you uh, how to properly highlight each and every panel. Uh, you can uh, go for the non-metallic metal highlight that you have uh, here, a highlight line, and then uh, partially going darker to this side and this side <coughs> and so on. Um, Go to Squidma or uh, Trovarion, for example. There you can uh, find tutorials for that. Um, what I want to do here is uh, battle damage. And battle damage is uh, quite easy to achieve, actually. So, uh, what do we need for that? We need uh, a dark brown color. Uh, I will use here uh, uh, Rhinox Hide for that. <coughs> and we need white. So, I have here matte white. <clears throat> so, we take our white on the palette, add a little bit of water for a better flow, and then uh, we uh, take, for example, here the hand. So, um, where do you think uh, the hand would uh, accumulate uh, some battle damage and scratches? I would say here at the front, and uh, you will... Uh, Grab some white paint and paint in the areas where the battle damage would be. Also, for example, here at the edge, then maybe here exactly here at the line, then maybe here a little bit. Yeah, that would be good spots for a battle damage. <coughs> so, <coughs> what we do now? So basically, you do that uh, on the entire armor. Uh, I will. Now, uh, just show you how the battle damage is achieved. You uh, take the brown color, and then you pick out uh, here the uh, white spot that you have uh, previously painted. Let's zoom in here, right in there, that you can see that. There we go. <coughs> and then uh, you simply paint the dark brown in here and leave a little bit of the white line behind. See that? Okay, now it covers. So, then maybe here is a nice scratch. Then we have here a nice scratch. And here we paint the middle and have the lines <coughs> left and right. And here we paint a little bit. See? And voila, this is how it works with the battle damage. What you can uh, also do is uh, now take your uh, brush and with a tiny point you make here and there tiny dots and uh, little scratches on the armor. So, like that. And level up, the battle damage is done. So, for those of you that uh, want to uh, see how to edge highlight, I will also uh, quickly show you that, for example, here at the uh, edge of the boot, you simply 
drag along with your brush. And ta-da, you have edge height. <coughs> so then you can also uh, take, for example, the tip of the brush and paint here along the circle. Just like that. Also here, the boot maybe. Just at the edge. See? <clears throat> this is how edge highlighting works. Yeah, and uh, take what you want, the edge highlighting or the battle damage, and uh, proceed through the entire miniature. I will be back when this is done. Ta-da! And this is uh, how now the completed battle damage looks like. All around. Well, I say completed, but it's not actually completed. <coughs> what we use now is a little bit of sponge, a little bit of blister sponge. <coughs> Rip it apart, free it from cat hair. There we have it. So, <coughs> and we will adjust it a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And with that, uh, we will uh, dip it into our brown color now. Uh, dab it off on a paper towel. And then uh, we will uh, slightly add a little bit more of those tiny random dots all over the miniature. Don't overdo it, just a few here and there <coughs> to give the illusion that it is really battle damaged. You have uh, scratches all over the place, not just these uh, big chunks. But like I said, don't overdo it, just one or two dabs at each part. Come on, a little bit more color. There we go. So, and I guess now we can call it done. Yeah, <coughs> that's a good spot. And uh, what I will do now is um, I will paint all the metal uh, parts. In uh, black metal here from uh, scale color, but you can use any kind of uh, dark metal color. <clears throat> then I will uh, also paint the bolter casing in this uh, space wolf grayish uh, light gray tone. Um, yeah, this I will do now off camera and be right back. So, Tubies, as you can see, I have. Uh, painted all the metal parts and the bolter and sword casing in gray. Also I have uh, painted the um, yeah, knee joints and uh, <coughs> the well, joint parts of the armor in this gray tone. <coughs> so, and uh, what I will do now is a very standard step, noon oil. And then I will Go over the metal parts and also the gray parts with that to give it nice shadows. So as you can see, I'm pulling that stuff right into the recesses.
but I guess you know the drill how to use a wash properly. So I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, Tubies, there I'm back, and it is now uh, well three days after the last recording session. Everything is dry now. Uh, you can see I have uh, made the silver parts and the battle damage and uh, all that kind of stuff. And let's uh, have a look uh, what we can do now. So um, uh, we will uh, now uh, buff the silver a little bit uh, with a brighter silver color. I uh, will use for that here a heavy metal from a scale color. But you can uh, use whatever metal color you have at hand that is brighter in tone than the previous one. So, I just put a little bit on the palette, we don't need very much, and uh, with that we will quickly pick out the top parts here, for example at the eagle, just slightly go over it, it's a little bit like edge highlighting or dry brushing. Very simple. So, just pick out some of the high spots and give it some life and more depth. See? Very easy and quick to do. So, same for the chain sword here. One run down here at the teeth of the chainsword. Okay. And that's that. Okay. <coughs> um I will now uh, go ahead and uh, give the metal parts um, the rust effect that I have uh, on my marines. Um, if you don't want the rust effect, uh, just leave it away. You can uh, totally use uh, the marine just like he is now. If you want the uh, fly rust effect, um, I suggest you use here Vallejo pigments, uh, uh, brown iron oxide, <coughs> and uh, we don't read, uh, need much of that. Just take your brush. This is the amount that we need. <coughs> Add a little bit uh, of water to it. We want a very, very uh, thin coat. And with that, we'll go over this and give it just the tiniest amount of this pigment in the recesses so that it looks like it's uh, old rust uh, rust patina on the uh, metal parts that has built up over the years <coughs> you know the uh, equipment of space marines is in uh, service for hundreds if not thousands of years <clears throat> and uh, it is only natural that some stubborn rust would be here and there. Nothing that really impacted the functionality of the stuff. Not really deep rust, so we don't uh, use heavy oranges and brown tones. Just this little uh, rust patina. Here a little bit on the shoulder pad rim. The good thing about uh, the pigments is, if you have made a mistake, just uh, use some water and wash it away until it is uh, fixed. You can always play around with it and uh, 
poke it and put it into other spots. So, <clears throat> uh, next step uh, will be the base. Um, what I've done previously here is uh, use some of the texture paint and then uh, I have primed over it. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry for that. And uh, now we will uh, go over it uh, with a, a brown wash. <coughs> I will use now here my uh, dark brown mixture. This is just a mix out of uh, all the brown tones uh, that is available in wash form. But you can use uh, whatever brown wash you have at, at hand. Even the uh, skeleton horde contrast paint that we used just to prime the miniature. So I want uh, this to be a desert en environment in the end. <clears throat> so I will uh, go over it with some yellow tones uh, <clears throat> and uh, make the uh, base edge also yellow, but uh, you can make the base obviously however you like if you like it uh, brown and uh, with a black edge base edge or uh, in goblin green like in the 90s and whatever you prefer. So uh, now it's time for the eye and uh, we start with a dark red tone. I use here a uh, scale color deep red. Add a little bit of black to it, make it even darker. Yeah, that's a good tone. <clears throat> so, and now we'll pick the eye direct here at the edge. That's enough. You don't need to, uh, to paint the front yet. So, we will add a little bit of white to the red paint. And now we will uh, paint the front part more. Okay, add a little bit of more white to the paint. And now we change directions. Remember, you can always uh, flip your miniature. And then paint the front part. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I have uh, flattened the brush and then turned it to the side. So, I have a, a blade like uh, very point, uh, very nice uh, point on the tip of the brush. So, now with uh, almost pure pink. Do it again, just the front dot. There you see. And now we take a white dot, <coughs> a very tiny white dot, in the back corner. Ta da! And there we have a nice Space Marine eye. So uh, now we go for the lenses here, make them all red. Same goes here for the bolter. Okay, and with a brighter red tone we will just make a dot in there to indicate a highlight with this a uh, such tiny uh, <coughs> things we don't need to overdo it there we go that should do it <coughs> yeah overall uh, the space marine is uh, done at this stage um, I will uh, now paint the banner. You don't uh, well uh, 
need to do that. Uh, I have uh, put the banner on in uh, honor of the 90s Space Marines. Nowadays, uh, Space Marines don't have thought such banners. Um, I will uh, simply uh, highlight this here with bleach bone and uh, put a um, your decal uh, on that, and also uh, put a decal here on the shoulder pad. Um, you can uh, obviously go for your uh, Deathwing uh, shoulder pads, um, um, Dark Angel transfer if you want to make this a, a Deathwing miniature, or uh, Angels of Absolution, and uh, whatever chapter you want with your bone color. Uh, for me, this is my own chapter, and I will use the Black Templar symbol, symbol for that. Uh, also, I will finish up the base, and uh, in the end it will uh, look something like that. Yeah, this was the tutorial. I hope you liked this, and uh, well, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.